Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's look I'm gonna uh, do today is from the Stranger Things collection. I'm gonna try to use all the products, probably except for the night the night lip mask. Um, of course, with the name, it's it's for night. Um, so I'm just gonna get started. This is a look I saw another creator do. I'm gonna try to recreate it. And we're going to see how it goes. If you saw my last video, it did come with a blush. But honestly, I'm not sure about the blush because it felt really greasy. And it's, I don't know, it's its a weird texture. But we're going to just get going. And we're going to start off, I think we're going to do kind of like this green color, this maroon color, and maybe a little bit of that, the waffle color. But we're going to get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the color right here. It's called the gate. And I'm going to start off by putting it on the outer part of my eye. And I'm going to bring it out. And I'm going to go up in the crease a little bit. Not all the way. Let's see. And then I just bring it out all and blend it in out. I don't really know how this is going to come out. Ooh, that color's not bad. It, it is dark, but we're doing kind of a Halloween look. So I want it to be dark. I want it to really stand out and I might be going a little through I'm trying to just go about halfway and we'll see how it comes out well so far it's very pigmented it gets a little it looks like it's a little patchy but that's probably because I have hooded eyes so yes and I always start off and it looks a little messy but we'll blend it all out I'm using a Morphe brush. It's kind of a round brush. I really think I need to get like a little smaller brush for the outer part of my eye. Um, a different, like a pencil brush. I think I have some somewhere, but if not, I gotta order some. Because you, know, it makes a difference when you use the right brushes. Go back in. And this is probably not the eye show. I did put some eye cream on. Um, just to add some moisture to my lids. So that might be why I'm having a little issue with the, <laughs> the eyeshadow because I probably didn't let it dry enough, but. I mean, I'm blending it out and I will use a different brush to really, I know it, it looks messy. It always, I look like a hot mess every time, but believe it or not, like once you blend it, it will look much better. And I'm not really doing a cut crease, but we'll probably smooth it out a little bit. But that's all right. And I'm just going to try to blend it out just a little bit. And I don't mind if this look, particular look is a little messy because it, it really doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just going to. I might have to watch that video again, but I'm just trying to remember what I watched. Because I, I don't have two different ways to look. Like, it would be cool if I had, like, a... I could set up my iPad. That way I can watch the look they're creating so I can make sure <clears throat> I create that same look. And sometimes I overblend, but I want to just make sure it's really blended. And I can clean it up afterwards with concealer. I don't know what it is. When I just... Always seems to look better. So I'm going to dab it in there. <laughs> my problem is I'm so used to like rushing when I do my, um, my makeup. So <clears throat> when I do it on the weekends, I have to tell myself, slow down. You can take your time. There's no hurry. <laughs> it's Sunday. Um, I know Sunday's usually like football, but the team, my team, I shouldn't say my team, but the team I watch has been doing really horrible. So I haven't really got into watching it this year. All right, now the next color I'm going to go in with is this red shade. And it's called Demogorgon. Okay, so we're going to go into that shade Demogorgon. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to put it on the inner part of my eye. And I'm going up. Yes, I did put too much of the green, so this might not show up. But I want it on the 
inner part halfway to where I put the green. This is a real pretty color. It's like a, it's a cranberry, but it almost looks like it has a little brown in it too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yes, I went too far over with the green, but I'm just going to keep going. And I'm blending it right into the green. Now, I went too far over with the green, but I'm just going to try to put a little extra of that, that, the red shade, the ruined shade. And I'm just, I'm actually recreating this look. I found a new content creator. I was just trying to find looks for the Stranger Things palette. And I, and this palette, I'm also going to probably do more looks like for work. We'll see. Yes, it does look a little messy, but that's okay. Cause it's not gonna, it's for Halloween. So you, you can do things a little messy. I just want to just like carve out just a little bit right in the middle here. Just a little bit. And I don't mind if this right in the inner corner part. So what I'm going to do, it's like a, it's tiny. So it'll go into that little space. So I'm going back in with that burgundy color. Then we're going and I'm just going to just fill in the, yes, right there. Because I want some of that red to be there. All right, I just gotta remember it's the weekend, I can take my time. But it never feels if I'm doing a video, my husband's actually at church, so I don't wanna be like in the middle of a video. Well, I can, you know, I can fix it, but I don't wanna stop filming. So I'm going back in with that little brush just to, get, I want more color right here. All right, I don't think she put concealer, but I'm going to put the concealer just to help with the next color. Now, what I'm going to try is they have these eyeshadow ColourPop. This is the liquid eyeshadow, and it's in the shade, let's see, the heck, Humanoid. And I don't know how this is going to look. I had trouble with the last one I used. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this little tiny brush and just get some product off the applicator. I think that'll be easier than trying to plop it on. I don't know. I've never tried this one. So I'm just like using this tiny little brush and just going over the area where I put the concealer. Oh, not bad. I mean... It goes on pretty good. But I think this is much better when you use a little brush. That is kind of pretty. And if you look, it just, it has that iridescence in it. And I definitely think it's easier to put it on with a brush than the applicator. Because the last liquid eyeshadow I put on, I just, I don't know. It was probably, it just didn't look good to me. Like it didn't seem to blend in as well as what I would like. So I'm just gonna blend it there with my finger a little bit. Not bad, it's, it, there's a nice shimmer to it. I don't know if this is the exact shade, <laughs> yeah, like, but it doesn't matter. I, I love watching other people's videos too because it gives me ideas. All right, now I'm going to go back in with the green, which is the gate, and I'm going to put some right under my lower lash line. And I want it to be a little messy. I don't want it to be perfect under here because it's, it's a Halloween look. I 
don't know. It doesn't look bad. Probably could use a little bit more blending, which we'll do in a sec. Now, and the other girl used some yellow, but I don't know exactly remember where she put it. So, I'm going to take this little tiny brush, and I'm going to dip into the Waffle Thief right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit, like, right about, right under my brow. But I'm using a tiny brush. It's probably too little, but I have very small eyes, so I think this brush will, works well for me. And I'm just blending that into those two colors. And I'm just putting it on the outer part. I'm kind of just blending it in as I go. Just a little hint of that waffle shade. Now I notice I can see a patch, so I'm gonna use that um, other little brush that I was using. And I'm going back in with the Demogorgon and I can see a spot right there. Cause I, you know, at my age I have creepy eyes, so sometimes I really gotta open my eyes up a little bit so I can put get the color in there. All right, now that that's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I have my concealer. And this is a Too Faced concealer I'm using. I forgot to use tape. Tape works really great. So what I'm gonna do is I just go at an angle and I just add a little concealer. If I can get enough on here. And it's a little, um, can be a little trickier to do this when you, you have um, dark eyeshadow colors. It takes a little bit more concealer. And I'm just going to bring that up. Ugh. Why did I get it all over there? Never fails. I go a little crazy with the eyeshadow. And I go up. It, yeah, it can be a little tricky to cover the dark shades, but I need a little more because I'm going to do something on my outer part of my eye. I'm going to try it. And I already have my foundation on. I did my brows and all that, all that fun stuff. And I have to say, I do love the stamp. And it, it's like, it has tons of different ones. Okay, now let's see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna attempt this. I don't know if it's gonna come out. I really don't. Um, but I saw another content creator create this. So I'm gonna attempt it. And what I'm trying to do is this vines in the Stranger Things. So the, the vines kind of look like this and they're all like different. So I'm trying to get something to look at. This one will probably show up better. See all these like black lines and stuff? That's what I'm gonna attempt. So I don't know if, how it's gonna come out, but I want it to look like vines. So it doesn't have to be like perfect like this, but um, once I get it on, it's gonna be a little tricky. So I'm just trying to use this little box as a guide right here. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll see. So I'm going to start. I might have to hold my eye and I'm just going to start right here.
Almost looks like I put a little heart there. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. <laughs> I don't think that looks bad. I just gotta take my time. And just... I ha have to hold my eye out a little bit because I have creepy eyes. Uh, and both sides are not gonna look the same. Yes, I made this line fat, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it. So what I'm going to do is go in with some concealer. Because I really don't want to start over. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to try to fix it a little bit. I just cover in that, the darkness, and if it still shows through, that's okay. I just want the line thinner. And basically, the reason why I have trouble making lines is because I do have anxiety, and my hands have a tendency to, like, shake. Now you can still see a little of the black, so I'm going to just take a little bit more concealer because to take all this off, it, it is an eyeliner, so it probably will stay, but I'm not giving up. I'm just trying to make it less noticeable, but even if I can't, I don't think it's gonna. And. Yeah, you can still um, see it, but. That's not exactly the way the other girl did it. And I'm probably doing more than I need to. But I'm just trying to make little lines. And I don't think it looks totally bad. I just want to put a couple more. Mm -hmm. It's probably a little uh, lower than it should be. It should probably be more over here. But I have very small features. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I think even with the thickness, it, it looks kind of cool. Let's see what my... That's not perfect. <laughs> but you know what? I'm getting better. It, it It's just vines. You want it to make it look like vines. That's all. All right. Now, all right. Now, I'm going to go in with this. Now, this looks really weird. You can see it. It looks black. Um, and I did try it in my last video. I don't know if I'm going to like it. This is usually for a contour brush, but I'm going to use it in here and see because I want a nice I don't know if you're gonna get any color it actually comes out pink I don't know if it's like color changing but I'm just gonna add and yes it goes over the vines a little bit oh not bad shade I don't know if I like it it's very greasy I've never had a blush like this if you when you see it, it it's it's black I'm not I don't know if I'm a fan of this to be honest I mean it's very greasy. I don't know if I even like the shade. I just, the texture is weird. I'm so used to, like, it's it's not even a cream blush. Yes, I know this is smudging a little bit, but that's okay. I don't care if it smudges because this is just like a Halloween look. And I did smudge it. <laughs> that's all right, you know? <sighs> Do 
just make sure it's dry before you do the blush. And you can see it's actually changing to that pinky color in there. Um, I'm uh, a little bit with my finger. Yeah, it's very uh, greasy. It's this would de look would look definitely look better if this eye thing was over here. I know it's not in the same exact spot because because the way I started it. But overall, I don't think it looks bad. I just like I'm practicing. I'm gonna get better. You we'll wait till next year, guys. My Halloween looks hopefully will be amazing. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put that aside, and um, I definitely got to... All right, now I'm going to grab some mascara. I don't know when Halloween is. I think it's Thursday. So, um, oop. See, look at I got a mark there, but it kind of goes with the look. So that's okay. Oh my God. If you guys could see this room, I really got to clean. I get makeup, sh makeup stuff everywhere. Um, I'm trying to think. Let's see. And they have three different glosses. So I'm trying to figure, I'm not gonna, um, put makeup on, I mean, lipstick on, but these are the shades. I know you've seen them in my last video. I think I'm going to go with the blue. Um, it just probably offers a little tint of color. It has glitter in it. I think it's really pretty. And this is in the shade. Oh my goodness. I know it's on here somewhere. Run. I will leave, try to leave a description down below if I remember. Um, but basically, all the makeup I'm using today is from um, ColourPop, except for the mascara. The mascara I use is called, it's FanFest, it's in black, and I got this in my Ipsy. I actually did get my November, uh, my October Ipsy. This is the bag. But it's just samples, so. All right, so we're going to put this color shade in Run. Yeah, there's a tint of glitter in there. And these these glosses, oh, they smell amazing. Yeah, they feel nice on the lips. It's not sticky or anything. Yes, I'm piling it on. I don't think that looks bad. It's not like bright blue, like in the packaging, but I think overall it looks nice. It's very uh, moisturizing on the lips. It's not sticky. Um, not really a lot of color. It looks like there's a little pink in it, but overall, I think it's a nice collection. Um, unfortunately for me, the blush, I'm not sure how often I'll use it. Um, it is kind of like greasy and like, slippery if that makes sense but it doesn't it's it's a unique blush i have to give them that because it's black and then this is the color i don't know if it's goes to your skin tone i have no idea but it is in a pink shade and even though i smudged over here i still think it looks good because with this it doesn't have to be perfect i think the lines could be skinnier but i i love this side i think this side came out pretty good it's just i get to practice that's all and this is a little lower but i don't Overall, I don't think it looks bad. It's a little messy. But that's okay because it's going to be Halloween. But you basically just want to try to make vines, if that makes sense. And all the packaging just has little vines. Um, well, that's it for this video. 
Um, this would be a great look for Halloween. It, it, it's, it, as you can see, it didn't take me a lot of time, but I just need to go slower when it comes to creating the vines. Just, I need to take my time, which I thought, it, you know, I pretty much did, but it's not, overall, it's not bad. And I will do some other looks with this palette because there are so many shades. And actually, when I get ready for work um, during the week, when I use this palette, I'm going to try to use different shades so you can see overall all the different colors. And there's some things I can definitely wear to work. Like, I won't do the vines, but you, you can create a look with this. And I think I even might go with some of the character names. We'll see. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.